Welcome back to the Real Crypto Space. I'm your co-host Louis, and today's video is on IOTA. Welcome back to the Real Crypto Space. As Louis said, we are going to be talking about the cryptocurrency called IOTA, also known as MyOTA. And um, as you guys may know, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research, and hopefully, you guys do enjoy this video. So, for those of you that don't know what IOTA actually does or is, IOTA is a distributed ledger designed to record and execute transactions between devices and machines in the Internet of Things, which is the IOT which uh, stands for Internet of Things and the ledger uses a cryptocurrency called MyOTA to account for the transactions in its own network. So it may seem fairly complex to you but for those of you who know uh, you'll know it's a very good project for sure um, and if we see that here the market cap is 2.2 billion dollars which is a lot less than what it's been in the past if we look here it's all-time high we are down 85 percent yes this was four years ago of course that may be something more to worry about but if you look at where it was a year ago what, what was its high from a year ago as we see here we've gone to almost two dollars forty almost two dollars forty we've been to so right now we've definitely been more than double this almost triple this um so we know we can go a lot more than this and we know we're down a lot um i'm not saying the four dollars five dollars range is likely at all um but if we see by the uh the high on uh, in 2021 um, we can definitely aim for that, that's for sure. Um, that's something we can aim with, especially with what the market is doing and how good this project actually is. Obviously, we all know it's down to Bitcoin at this point. It's not down to anything else. It's whatever Bitcoin is doing will dictate what the rest of the market is going to do, as we all know if you've been in crypto for a long time. Um, so, of course, it's nothing to do with what the project releases tomorrow. It won't have a large effect. It's all to do with what Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin is king as we know. As we see here, it's all time low was two years ago, which is actually after it's all time high. So actually in the bear market of 2017, we reached the all time high and after it, we went to the all time low, which is very weird to think about. Um, but that was actually after a big, big update that did happen, how everything did change. So we can't really take this $5 mark into consideration or account to be honest with you we have to be more taking in what happened last year or maybe 2020 as well um, so that is the main thing there so we can really see in 2020 let's say that's when it first properly started um, eight cents and uh, now we're at 75 78 cents uh, so it's done very very well um, in the long term scale of things realistically so if we get into the technical analysis of iota and see if we're looking bullish on the charts or not all right from what we can see right here on the monthly time frame we have had a massive rejection and uh from what from, from what we understand you know we did take out the previous um high that we did see before as soon as we took out the previous high this was like a fake breakout and everyone was saying we're going to go to the moon everyone was excited everyone had their memes ready everyone got so happy as you can see here from what from what we can see right here you know they're all doomed okay from the, these two wicks right here they're all doomed everyone's everyone's annoyed uh, i don't want to swear but everyone's uh, annoyed so um yeah uh we've had a massive rejection and this was um this was that what happened to everyone for example everyone was looking to long their cryptocurrencies at a breakout aiming for um their five to ten dollar targets that never happened but um it just rejected like two crazy numbers and uh, that's just in the monthly time frame so you can only imagine what the weekly time frame looks like the weekly time frame from what we can see here was bullish we had that massive rejection and people were thinking it's retesting or retracing back down everyone was long in and then boom we just had a massive rejection lower causing us to uh, you know come back up to uh, fill in the gap and then drop even lower taking out the old low and then we retrace all the way back up to um a last like area of uh you know demand or supply and then we ended up dropping all the way back down and as of right now we are looking like we are potentially going to be making a double bottom and from what we know double bottom is like the best bullish sign okay if we can make a double bottom this might be a great bullish sign and um even though they have let us down in, 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 you know, before, but from history, you know, they are right more times than wrong. And we do see it play out most of the time. And also with Bitcoin as well, you know, Bitcoin has had a massive factor in the cryptocurrency um, that we are talking about. And from what we can see, Bitcoin is looking quite bullish as of right now. We've had a massive bullish projection. If we just go on the daily time frame, from what we can see here, just look at this massive bullish expansion that we've seen. And uh, yeah, it is looking quite great. Even though we've had a massive bear market from what we can see right here we are starting to see more bullish expansion um if i just move this right here and uh, as you can see right here the, um, the massive 
uh, bullish candles that we are seeing as rejections from the 30k mark is looking great and greater and greater by the day. And I do think that we are potentially going to be moving a little bit higher before we do drop one last time. So this might not be a great impact for the cryptocurrency um, Myota. So that is it for this video. If you feel like you've taken any value from watching it, then please make sure you press that like button and also press that red subscribe button. It really does help us out. I mean, really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Have a lovely rest of your day.